like to thank the organizer for inviting me to this session. I will present data from our uh, prevention study with lactobacillus reuteri, allergy prevention study, uh, and relate that to uh, other probiotic studies, uh, prevention studies with probiotics, and also try to draw a conclusion from all these studies. The hygiene hypothesis says that the increase of uh, uh, allergic disease the late uh, decades is due to a change in uh, microbial exposure. Uh, and there are several studies suggesting this. For example, uh, children growing up in countries with a l high prevalence of allergic disease, such as Sweden, uh, have a different composition of the gut microbiota compared to uh, children growing up in countries with a low prevalence of allergic disease, such as uh, Estonia. And children growing up in farms with a high microbial exposure run a reduced risk to develop allergic disease, while infants growing up, uh, getting antibiotics in infancy had a higher risk to develop allergic disease. And animals growing up in germ-free condition uh, do not develop oral tolerance against uh, food allergens. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, studies supporting the hygiene hypothesis. But to evaluate the relevance of uh, 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 these studies, you need to do intervention studies. And uh, probiotics are very useful for uh, interventions. So to test uh, the hygiene hypothesis and to evaluate a new strategy for allergy prevention, we performed a double-blind placebo-controlled study uh, with the probiotic bacterium Lactobacillus reuteri. We included 232 families with a family history of allergic disease at the maternity ward. The mother started with the study product uh, four weeks before expected delivery. She stopped after delivery. Her baby con uh, started with the study product one to three days after birth. And he, they continue with the study product daily until 12 months of age. We followed the children until two years of age. And we assessed uh, uh, the incidence of allergic disease, skin prick test against the allergens, and also specific IG against food allergens. And 188 infants completed the study. So uh, we define sensitization as uh, any positive skin prick test and or a specific uh, IgE against food allergens. If the infant had, uh, uh, the infant had IgE-associated eczema, if it had eczema and was sensitized, and the infant uh, had IgE-associated disease, if it had any symptoms of allergic disease and was sensitized. And uh, allergic disease included eczema, asthma, allergic rhinoconjunctivitis, gastrointestinal, uh, gastrointestinal allergy, and allergic urticaria. So uh, what did we found? Well, to our big uh, disappointment, we didn't see any effect on the, uh, the symptoms of allergic disease, as you can see here. The incidence, for example, uh, on uh, eczema was 36 in the Reuter group compared to 34 in the placebo group. Neither did we see any uh, difference in the point prevalence of eczema during the first two years, two years of age. Uh, but if we looked at the point prevalence for IgE-associated uh, eczema, that means the infant said it was sensitized and have uh, eczema. The point prevalence at 24 months of age was lower in the Reuter group compared to the placebo group, 8% versus 20%. And if we looked at the cumulative incidence of IgE-associated uh, disease, as I said, that was any symptoms of allergic disease uh, combined with uh, sensitization. The incidence was lower in the Reuter group compared to the placebo group, 20% uh, versus 35%. And there was also a trend for a lower uh, incidence of skin prick positivity in the Reuter group. The obvious question is then, uh, uh, if this lower incidence of IgE-associated allergic disease uh, is relevant, although uh, the symptoms of allergic disease uh, 
uh, was not affected. Uh, well, as you all know, uh, eczema is considered to be a predictor for later development of asthma and allergic rhinoconjunctivitis. But it is rather, uh, this is rather limited to sensitize infants with eczema, as you can see in these pu two publications. 60% of the sensitized infants uh, uh, with eczema at two years of age developed asthma in school age, compared to only 14% of the non-sensitized infants with eczema. So therefore, you might speculate that the Reuter-treated infants in this study run a reduced risk to develop asthma or allergic rhinoconjunctivitis when they reach school age. We stratified our material uh, according to if the mother had uh, uh, an allergic disease or not. 70% of the mothers had an allergic disease. And if only infants to mother uh, with an allergic disease were included, the effect was much more pronounced, as you can see here. For example, the difference of incidence of uh, sensitization became highly significant after this uh, stratification. While if only infants to father with allergic disease were included, we couldn't see any effect at all. And this indicates that the treatment of the mother uh, during pregnancy is of importance for the outcome. We have also laboratory data in our uh, uh, own study uh, suggesting this. We, analyzed, we, we collected breast milk for the mother one to three days after uh, delivery and after one month. And the Reuter treatment during pregnancy did affect the cytokine levels in the colostrum, as you can see here. IL-10 was higher than in the placebo group, and TGF-beta-2 was lower uh, than the placebo group in colostrum. And lower uh, TGF-beta-2 was related to a lower incidence of sensitization in the infants, as you can see here. So this also fits with the theory that the treatment of the mother could be of importance. We also took uh, 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 blood samples from the uh, infants. Uh, and low-grade inflammation with subclinical elevated CRP levels during uh, infancy have been very recently reported to reduce the risk for develop allergic disease uh, and eczema in a Finnish study by Varla et al. And we could confirm that. To the conclusions from our study. A preventive effect of probiotics on infant eczema was not confirmed. But Reuter treated infants had a lower incidence of IgE associated disease and less IgE associated eczema at two years of, two years of age. Therefore, they possibly run a reduced risk to develop asthma and allergic rhinoconjunctivitis in school age. And the effect was more pronounced if the mother had an allergic disease.